Hey, Amber Simpson. Hi, Robert. Liam. When you think of something that just describes America. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> in a bird form. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Treading lightly. <laughs> what bird do you think I'm talking about? Um, which one? Which one encapsulates the American dream? A pelican. Close. <laughs> close. 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 They both do have white heads. All right, I'll bite. Or maybe I don't know. All the eagle. An eagle. A caca. Okay, again, <laughs> but you 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 do the worst impressions of birds. <laughs> Your chicken was like on par with Arrested Development characters. <laughs> I know that's on purpose though. I love it. <laughs> Uh, yes, the bald eagle. But yes. not only the bald eagle. I mean, there are other eagles, and we're going to celebrate all of them. <laughs> <laughs> all the eagles, because today is National Eagle Day. National Eagle Day. Save the Eagle Day. Oh, save the we're Eagle. We're saving them. Okay, so it's not just about eagle, eagles. Eagles. <laughs> eagles. <laughs> eagle my I actually got to work out my eagles later. <laughs> uh, they're pretty tight, though. <laughs> we're, uh, no, the majestic raptors. Ooh. A lot of uh, even raptor means bird of prey, and that's yeah. where the attack comes—not from the front, but from the side. <laughs> and the other two eagles, you didn't even know were there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you. Anyway, we're saving the eagles, Woo! and we're doing great because, are we? Due to the work of scientists and the public, the bald eagle was removed from the list of endangered species in June of 2007. Because we don't shoot them anymore, and we don't use DDT. Yeah, no poaching, no pesticides, and other. Dan- but I mean, we're still there's still some poaching. There's still some pesticides. Uh, sure, yeah, there's, there's still, still some other issues. dangers that threaten eagle populations. But uh, we saved the bald eagle, and that's what matters. Fuck all the other ones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, screw all the other eagles. America! The only, uh, bald eagle. What yeah. happens if the bald eagle becomes extinct? Then, like, we can't have it on our, like, it's not on our flag, but <laughs> we can't have it as, like, on our emblem or anything like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> what do you think we replace it with if we there's no more bald eagles? I think they get rid of the 50 stars and just put the bald eagle on there. <laughs> I think it should be, like, 50 little bald eagles. Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. That would be cool. But but then, again, what happens if they go extinct? Yeah, go back to stars. <laughs> <laughs> go back to stars. We'll always have stars. We'll always have stars. Do you know how many species of eagles populate the world? Populate the world? The world, the entire species world. Species of eagles. Let me guess. I'm going to say... It's less than 100. Oh, okay. Well, I was going to say 1,000, so that, <laughs> I'm going to say less than that then. Uh, I'm going to say it's uh, 45. 60. Oh, that's close. Yeah. Most of them are found in Africa and Eurasia. Yeah. My well, Asia? Eurasia. Yeah, they're in my Asia for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about your Asia, but my Asia allows eagles. <laughs> I hate you. North, Central, and South America and Australia only account for like 14 yeah. of the species. And there's no eagles in Hawaii. They're, they're like, fuck Hawaii. Like, it's just too far it's to too fly. Far. So, Albatross is like, I'll do it. But the eagles are like, nah. Yeah. You have a bigger wingspan. Yeah. I think. I don't know. <laughs> I mm-hmm. listen. Mm-hmm. Uh, but South America does have my favorite eagle, which is the harpy eagle. The harpy eagle. Yeah. Why is it your favorite? Uh, I had like a little harpy eagle action figure thing when I used to collect like little plastic animals when I was a kid. Uh-huh. And I just remember it was like a cool looking one. And then I learned a lot about it because I liked the Amazon and I used to read books on the Amazon and play Amazon Trail. <laughs> and I don't remember if, if there's a this list. I don't remember if there's a harpy eagle on the Amazon Trail game. Probably. Oh, look, it is on this list. On the list of species of well, there's, eagles? Uh, it should be. <laughs> no, on this globalanimal.org, oh. they like talk about uh, like five of them. They talk about the white-tailed eagle in Scotland. Okay. Um, stop it. Uh, the Philippine eagle, obviously in the Where Philippines. Okay. I like him. Look at his face. Oh, that's pretty cool. He's got puffy hair. Like dudes. a lion eagle. Yeah, he looks like a lion. Uh, he rivals the platypus and the pygmy hippo. In what? For strangeness. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what are they competing in? <laughs> it's also called the monkey eating eagle because it eats harpy monkeys. Eagle. Yeah. Yeah. Because it eats howler no, monkeys. No, the oh, which Philippine one? eagle. Oh, well, the, how, the harpy eagle eats. Uh, okay, we're not monkeys. talking about that one yet. We haven't we'll gotten there. Get to it. That's it my eats favorite. Monkeys and lemurs and monitor lizards and other birds of prey, and it has a wingspan of over two meters. Wait, it eats lemurs. Are there lemurs in the Philippines? I guess so. I don't think so. Okay. I think they're only on Madagascar, aren't they? All right. Maybe maybe it's a no. Nah, maybe not. Ring-tailed <laughs> lemurs are only in Madagascar. There's probably other lemurs. 
so there's two ways you can see that one. Either trek through the forest of Mindanao with okay. your fingers crossed or right. visit the Eagle Conservation Center in Davao City in the Philippines. And they, they have seven birds on display. Um, there's the Stellar's Sea Eagle in Japan. Ooh, look, we can see that eagle in Japan. Which one is it? The Stellar's Sea Eagle. Oh, my God. Stellar Stars Garden? Yep. Sea Eagle? Uh, it lives in the land of ice and snow. <laughs> <laughs> the ice and snow <laughs> <laughs> it's a big fan of uh, Led Zeppelin too yep mm -hmm. and then the harpy eagle he looks goofy AF let me see he's in the Amazon in Brazil yeah I like that guy it looks like he needs to get his hair cut um, he's the national bird of Panama He's a dark-eyed demon who feasts mostly <laughs> on Christ. small monkeys. He's and a piece sloth. of shit, evil he monster. Eats sloths. What does sloths yeah. do? They just sit there looking stone and chilling. Well, maybe they should have evolved a little faster to move a little quicker. Oh man, I don't like them. He, he's got to eat. What do you want him to eat? Okay, well, mosquitoes. Just, he's just not a eat bat. the monkeys. It's fine. <laughs> You think <laughs> sloths are better than monkeys? Yes. No way. Yeah, they are. No, they're not. They're cuter and they are my spirit animal. Um, the Harpy Eagle was the inspiration for the design of Fox, Dumbledore's Phoenix, and Harry Potter films. So I do like him because of that, but okay. I hate him for every other reason. That's rude. But he doesn't even look like Fox. Fox was all like golden and cool. I had never watched the movies. Oh my God, I hate you. I have the movies, but I haven't watched them yet. Oh yeah, that's right. I bought them. Okay. On Black Friday. Apple bought them? <laughs> I, I bought them uh, uh, with, uh, with some jeans and some boots with the fur. <laughs> Uh yeah, eagles are cool. I saw one. Golden eagle is like a big popular one. Big yeah, popular one. A big popular. And one. the bald eagle is uh. Is that your favorite easier. type of bird though? No. What's your favorite type of bird? Pigeon. I don't, know. don't ask me this question. You like street rats? Yeah. <laughs> street rats. Street I rats. guess street rats would actually be street rats. I saw. I should have said flying rats. Flying rats. <laughs> yeah. Because street rats are just regular rats that are on the street. <laughs> I don't know what my favorite bird is. I've never been asked that question. So, man, I, I always ask the tough questions. I'm gonna have to look Sit up a list of, of birds. They're pretty cool though, and they're like majestic. And when you see one, you feel special. Yeah, because they're super big. I always liked. Uh, and they're they're not endangered, but they're still like rare. They're still like right. There's not that many of them. Right, right, right. No, I, I said I saw a bald eagle when I was in Key West, and I thought that that was awesome. I was like, all the way down in Key West. I was like, I didn't know they come down this far, but they do. They don't go to Hawaii, but they go to Key West. Yeah, but there's like land and shit in between. That's true. Last time I saw one was not that long ago, actually. I was on my way to work, and it was on um, the Howard Franklin Bridge, just on one of the oh, light nice. poles. Yeah, I saw him, and then like literally two minutes later, someone's tire blew out in front of me, and I almost crashed and died. And I was like, oh my God, it's a sign. Maybe it, it saved me. a symbol of uh, <laughs> <laughs> destruction. It, it was warning that. me that I was about to die, and it saved me. That's what I decided. Yeah. That's what it was doing as it took your eyes off the road. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, but I, my eyes are back on the road two seconds later. And if they weren't, <laughs> if I was staring any long, it could have been like two light poles later and then I would have died. That's true. <laughs> Good thing you landed on that one. Okay. Sure, that was all for you. Let's, let's listen to some fun facts about the eagles. All right. Okay. Golden eagles can reach 150 miles per hour as they dive down onto their prey. 150 miles an hour. Damn. It's faster than I can drive. Uh, faster than a lot of trains. Unauthorized possession of bald eagle or golden eagle feathers or body parts carries a five thousand dollar fine. Wow. Ten thousands upon uh, upon the second infraction. What if you just find a, gold, a a fucking golden eagle feather? You're not allowed to have it. What are you supposed to do with it? You like bring it to the police. Take it to the police. I'm sorry, sir? guys. I found this, and I wanted to make sure. But then they the arrest right you anyway yeah, because yeah. they're like, we don't know if you plucked this out or <laughs> if you actually found it, sir. We're going to have to do an uh, internal investigation because it happened within the precinct, I guess. I don't know why I said internal. <laughs> internal. <laughs> He's a cop who came to the cops to tell him about the bird feather. I got you. Okay. Okay. You should write a cop doctor episode about it. <laughs> I will, actually. Um, young bald eagles aren't bald. Their brown head feathers only turn white later in life. It's like an old man when your hair turns gray. That's true. Um. Bald eagles have fairly weak voices. The classic bald eagle screech is actually the call of a red-tailed hawk dubbed over eagle footage. Wait, say that at what? Bald eagles have fairly weak voices. So, like, the, the classic bald eagle screech that you hear oh, oh, okay, is, okay. is just is a red-tailed hawk dubbed over eagle footage. I Yeah, you meant in, like... 
movies and yeah. stuff. I was thinking in real life. In real life. <laughs> they just, every time they opened their mouth, a, a hawk <laughs> screamed for them. <laughs> I just have one follow them around. I need you to. I, need I gotta you to say squawk something. I gotta me, say bro. something. There's a female over there. Can you help me out? All right. I'm a big bird. I can't sound like a pussy. <laughs> Uh, stellar sea eagles and white-tailed eagles are native to Asia and Eurasia, <laughs> but some have been spotted in Alaska, probably traveling there by the way of the Aleutian Islands. Yeah. Makes sense. So how do we celebrate today? You could donate to yeah. wildlife shank- shank- sanctuaries. Sanctuary. Sanctuaries. And then you say thank you very much. <laughs> you. you can encourage government officials to protect the waterways. That are home to our eagle populations. Yeah. Hopefully. You can go bird watching. Yeah, you could go bird wherever, watching. If you have a place you can you go. You could drive and down the high Howard Franklin Bridge over and over till maybe Just don't get in an accident. Keep your eyes on the out. road, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. glance Have someone up drive real quick. you or just like Uber back and forth over and over and over and over. <laughs> As a kid, I watched a pelican get run over by a car on the Howard Franklin. And that thing scarred me Aww. for life. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you could go to uh, what's that place on the south side? Um, Boyd Hill. Boyd Hill Nature Park. I've seen. Yeah, if there you before. live near us, you can go over there. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're in any other part of the country, go to your nature parks. Yeah, you could come visit us. Sure, not to our house. We'll meet you at the McDonald's on Fourth. Oh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> we could do that. I've learned from Craigslist, the Craigslist killer. <laughs> So, Save the Eagles Day originated in the village of Ridgefield Park, New Jersey in 2015. It was a day that, uh, that was the result of an effort to save a pair of nesting bald eagles near the community. Um, and late in 2014, Skymark Development Corp. of Paramus brought a study forth arguing that a landfill near where the eagles nested posted health risks. Um, Who said that? Skynet? What did Skynet. You say? It does okay. sound like Skymark Development Corp. It does sound like that. <laughs> okay, because Skynet never cared about the environment. <laughs> they named the nesting pair Alice and Al, and they nested along Overpeck Creek since at least 2011. And when the developer proposed a solution that included removing the tree, the eagles nested in the community and the Bergen County a Dubon Society <clears throat> organized Save the Eagles Day on January 10th, 2015. Wow. Yeah. So eventually they came, they made an agreement to preserve an area of the land as an eagle park, and Alice and Al continue to live out their days in Ridgefield Park. Nice. There's so you could, go, you could go visit Alice and Al. Yeah. Go say hi. In um, wherever that I said that was, New Jersey. Yeah. Ridgefield Park, New Jersey. That's cute. Yeah. That's cute. Yeah, so there's a lot of things you can do. There's a lot of things you could do. You know what else you could do? Have a cake. Have a cake. You got to have a cake an, today. An eagle-shaped cake. An eagle-shaped cake, or every time you take a bite, go, ah, ah. Yeah. But, like, lightly, because they got pussy voices. <laughs> Bald eagles, but if you want to be a harpy eagle, I'm sure they sound very manly. Probably. You're or right. birdie, yeah. whatever the equivalent is. They could dress like a lion and make birdie noises like that one bird. The, uh, the c- Cuckoo? Yep. I don't oh, know the which one, one it is. The Mockingbird? Oh, okay. Yeah, that one. That one. All right. Yeah, so it's a cake day. It's Celebrate cake eagles. Day. And uh, donate it if you can. Yeah. Do awesome. It. Do it. Do it. Do it. Amber's jumping around like a, a bird. She's trying to take flight right now. Yep. Because we're done with this podcast, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Seven Lamb Production.